Hey, what's going on, Gambia? New for Damien Yadilo. Dig it, it amazing right here. Hey, could the Open Mic Music Festival be collapsing? Let's talk about this. The Open Mic Gambian Music Festival over the years has been a hot spot and stepping stone for so many Gambian artists, especially the up and rising artists, those that made it on the list to perform on the country's only biggest music annual festival, saw many market opportunities and also get paid for performing at the event. For the past 12 years, the organizers have been going to different neighborhoods searching, tapping and unlocking talents to feature them on the platform. December 25th has always been a date that so many Gambian music lovers remember. The Open Mind Festival event is staged every year on that day, except last year's festival. Last year, change was made and the festival was staged for two days and also having international artists perform on that show, like Baba Mal, a great Senegalese singer whose song was featured on the Black Panther movie. It was a good movie, I hope you remember that. Neither the artists nor the fans were familiar with this new idea. And the show was coincided with one of Senegal's biggest artists, Wally Balago Sega, staging a show in the Gambia on the same day with the Open Mind Festival. Some argue that was the reason why the show flopped, while others say it was staging this event for two days. This year, the festival also coincided with Attack's heavyweight show that was staged at Kill City on the same day with the Open Mind Festival Day 2. Most of the Gambia's most talked about artists were not listed on the Open Mind Festival 2020. Artists like Esti, Jizzle, Otak, and Nobles, and so many other artists were not on the list, who so many Gambians will kill to see perform were not on the list. Rumor had it that the artists boycott the event, while other people debunking the rumor saying that organizers want this year to be focused more on the up and coming artists. Royal Messenger, Barhammer Cham, and other artists made it on the list with Royal Messenger performing on the first day and Bar Hammer scheduled for the next day. Royal Messenger writing on his Facebook showing his delight and appreciation to the festival and its organizers, said he first rejected the offer to perform on the festival because of the low pay offered by this year's Open Mind Festival comparing to the previous years. After discussing with his management, he accepted the offer and performed for the Gambia and his people. I first turned down the offer to perform as the payment was very low, both compared to the usual pay at Open Mic, and also because I know my value. I took a moment to reflect on this year, a year of loss in terms of money, but also a year of winning in terms of creativity, he wrote. He performed his new song Hallmark that he released on Christmas Day. Could this be? the titanic boat for the Open Mind Festival or do the organizers need to go back to the drawing board? Say your thoughts, your opinion and your overall analysis about the Open Mic Music Festival. We do it for the Gambia. For Block Entertainment News, they give amazing.